We've been visiting the historic town of York, England in a series of videos about this wonderful place. And in this episode, we're going to be sharing some travel tips with you from a lifelong resident of the city who is the manager of one of the best hotels in town, the Dean Court, which is coming up in just a minute after we give you a quick preview of the city of York, which is one of our favorite towns in all of Europe. The historic center of York is a large pedestrian zone with open street markets and lovely shops and plenty of outdoor restaurants and cafes with a mix of visitors and locals out, some of whom are walking their dogs. That makes a good chance to meet somebody and have a chat. You'll find the people of York are very friendly. It is a city, but with a small town atmosphere and plenty of history that takes you back to ancient Rome, the Vikings, and William the Conqueror. The longest medieval wall in England runs around the old town with different gates and tower fortresses that protect it. Above all, York is a cathedral town with the largest Gothic church in Northern Europe and many other historic buildings scattered through town. There are some major museums here, but the whole city is like one outdoor museum, an authentic trip back in time through the centuries a window to the past to help you understand York better and provide some tips on a possible visit you might like to take here. We're going to share a conversation with a local expert, the manager of the Dean Court Hotel. Simon Murphy, the general manager of the Dean Court Hotel in York. York's a great place to come and visit all year round because we're a very popular destination. And so what are the top five activities for the visitor when they come Well, here? the thing next door to us, the, the Minster, is probably the biggest attraction. It has right. over a million visitors a year, okay. but also the city walls. You can walk them for free. Anywhere down the river is beautiful to go visit. Your Viking Centre, mm -hmm. the museums, the castle. And plenty of pubs to go with Absolutely. It. 365 pubs. One pub for every day of the year. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's true. You can visit and you go to a different pub every day while you're here. Lots and lots of choice of restaurants. There's probably a thousand restaurants, pubs, bars that you can go and eat in. Mm. You can spend two weeks here and still not see everything that York's got to offer, never mind the surrounding area. Mm -hmm. So we have lots of guests that stay three, four, five times a year because there's so much to do and we come back and see what we have to do, mm -hmm. what to offer. And even seeing the same streets over and over again is yeah. a pleasure. Absolutely, Different particularly times the old day. shambles, down Coppergate, mm -hmm. down Stonegate, beautiful, beautiful old buildings. As the day progresses, you can go out before breakfast, take a peaceful stroll. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I like the hours right before sunset. A absolutely, you're right. It can be especially magical just after the rain stops with the lights reflected in the pavement. It's a quiet time, all the office staff have gone home and it's, it's a different type, it's a different environment, a different feel to the city. Yeah. Usually most of the tourists, the, the day trippers, have gone home. Yes. Um, or they've gone on to the next destination. Yes. So it, it's, it, you can be here from six o'clock in the morning to midnight and see three, four different types of, of atmosphere, shall we say. Yeah. And, and in the summer months, you can go and sit by the river till nine, ten o'clock. The it's lights beautiful. come on. The light, absolutely. Not many people in the way. Yeah. yeah. Pubs are still open. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, well, everything's open till really about midnight in York. And more and more towns are pedestrianizing more and more streets, but York has been pedestrianized for how long? 30 years, and they're trying to make more pedestrian only. It's because we do have a high volume of visitors mm -hmm. on a daily basis. No cars parked on any of these streets no, in the middle. not at all, no. No. Uh, Lots of park and rides, so which is great for the tourists that can park outside the city, get a bus into the city, forget their car, and go back for it six, seven hours later. Most historic villages allow car parking on the streets of the village. Yeah. Which uh, interferes with it the does, visual absolutely. It, absolutely. Not here. Not down not the, here. Particularly some of the, 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 the most important streets, shall we say, in mm. the city centre. Sure. You know, down the shambles, there is no cars. They weren't designed uh, for cars. Yeah. <laughs> Built before cars. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> do, you, do you call it the old town or the, is there a term? We call it within the bar walls. Usually it's the old town is within, within the, the bar walls. So that's within the city boundary. So within the city walls, uh -huh. which have been here for many, many hundreds of years. So what do you call a Yorkshire person, a York person? Well, some people call us Yorkies. 
Okay. Because there's a big chocolate factory here and they produce Yorkie back chocolate bars. Yeah. So we're a Yorkie. Yorkshire people are very friendly. We've come from Bath, which is a beautiful historic city. It is. Been to Chester and other towns, but there's nothing quite like York, it seems. No, I don't think so. I think York's got a lot to offer. It's got a real varied selection of attractions to offer, but also changing, changing the seasons as well. Summer gets really busy in the city. Uh, winter is beautiful, a little bit quieter, but still a very busy time of year, um, particularly through December and January. December Christmas market is here for five weeks. Tourists and people from all over the world to come to visit the markets. But the city itself has a great um, occupancy. Um, very, very busy throughout the whole year. Um, and again, particularly in the summer months where it can become a bit warm and a bit busy. Um, mm. York has got second highest hotel occupancy in the country after London. Uh, so it's oh. usually London, York, Edinburgh. And they're the top three. Of course, York is a little less expensive than London. It is, but, but it's going up. Going up. It's going up. But um, yeah, London is, is obviously the, is the, the most expensive. Yeah. Um, and yeah. most people, certainly my 40% of my overseas clientele, fly into London, usually spend mm. two or three days there, right. and then do Bath, York, mm -hmm. Lake District, Edinburgh, back to London. And it's so accessible by train. Absolutely. One hour is 50 on the fastest train from York, straight into York train station. From London. From London, uh -huh. or eight minutes walk from the train station, eight, over eight minutes, the river, beautiful walk. walk, and you're at uh -huh. the hotel. Or a taxi drive for four pounds. Uh, tax, taxi's four pound. Actually it takes longer to go in the taxi than it is to walk. <laughs> With Some of the city centre traffic, yeah, <laughs> on the outskirts, particularly in rush hour. So just walk it. Uh, walk it. That's what I would do. Tourism going steadily up? Absolutely. Um, this, the, the tourism for the city is doing particularly well. Um, York is on the up. Not just York, but you can go to Leeds, Harrogate, the coast, literally oh. within an hour of here. Right, Castle Howard. Castle Howard, a beautiful place to go and visit. In fact, there's a coastal bus that goes from outside our hotel. Um, mm -hmm. He just trips every day to the coast. But yeah, well, or you can pack, go in your own car. Tell us about the hotel probably the, one of the best located hotels in the city. Uh, the hotel has been here since about 1860 as a hotel. It was formerly a residence for the Minster, as we're next door to York Minster, and within a 10 minute walk of any of the tourist attractions in York that has to offer. Hotel, great history. It used to be three separate houses for the clergy who used to sleep here when they were uh, at the Minster. Being right in the city centre, it's a great located hotel. We're in the heart of everything that happens in the city. And we have some of the friendliest staff, I think, in any hotel. You read all my reviews. We look after people and we really care about their, their welfare and, uh -huh. and their hospitality that we offer. So how far in advance do people have to book to get in the busy season? Well, we, we, put a year's out, we put our rates out about a year in advance. You know, my, my biggest clientele is the UK, but my second is, is America. And we get American guests that book six to 12 months in advance because they're planning their trip to the UK. Uh -huh. So they may stay here two or three days. Australians, South Africans, most European countries uh, are represented in, in, in the guests that we have in the hotel. Uh, so 30 to 40% of my clientele is from overseas. And you're often fully booked? Oh, yeah, I mean, nearly 52 weekends of the year I tend to fill. Um, we have a very good occupancy during the winter months mm -hmm. when it's a bit quieter, but the city is still got everything yeah. still fully open. Uh -huh. So yeah, in the city, the summer months are very busy. And very weekends busy. especially. Absolutely, weekends we tend to fill every single Saturday. Not just us, but the most of the city does very well as well. Are there any hotels closer to the Minster? There are not, Dennis. We have the best <laughs> located hotel in the city, <laughs> and you can have your breakfast looking over the Minster and see what's going on. Great for people watching. And what I love is uh, centrally located is such a lie. So many hotels, so many tour companies centrally located, and that means a mile away. Absolutely. This couldn't be more centrally located. <laughs> and how long have you been with the hotel? I've been with the hotel three years, but I've been in the hospitality industry for 30 years. I just love it. I've lived in York all my life. No, nah, um, really. So I've been here for, well, I'm 53. So I've been here all my life, uh, huh. and I've always wanted to end my career in the Dean Carter Hotel. Yeah. So I've got a few years to go yet, yeah, and I, uh, I just love working here. Yeah, absolutely. Be sure to look for our other movies about this magical city. We frequently upload new movies, so please subscribe to our channel.
and click that little alarm bell so you'll be notified. And if you enjoyed the movie, how about a thumbs up and we always welcome comments down below. Or if you have questions about the destination, make note and we'll answer them. Thanks for watching.